mounts the Daphnia, I'm gonna show you how, okay? Let's take a look. These are my Daphnia cultures right here. And I'm gonna show you what you can collect every single day with just two tubs, okay? So I just took a little scoop. There's some Daphnia in there. But let me show you how many Daphnia are actually in here. And I can do this every single day. I do a scoop through here. And then I do a scoop through here. And let's go ahead. I mean, you can take a look right in there to see what's in there, but I harvest this every single day. And this is what I'm gonna show you how to make. So I'm gonna quickly go over the supply list that you're gonna to need to get started. Um, first thing is you're gonna need two tubs. I use the 17 gallon tubs from Home Depot, but you can also get larger ones at Costco um, or Lowe's, wh wherever you want, whatever size you want. Um, two tubs. So the crushed oyster grit, I got the tractor supply, about 10 bucks for a 40 pound bag, last year forever. Uh, organic fertilizer, I'm gonna show you the brand I use in a little bit. Uh, two clear five gallon water carboys. Um, they need to be clear because that's where you're gonna grow your algae, uh, your green water. And you need a starter for Daphnia, green water. And then lastly, you can use a, a window screen to go over your tubs to uh, keep the mosquitoes out. All right, I'm gonna show you my process for making the green water. Uh, two ingredients I use are oyster grit and the organic fertilizer, plant tone. Pretty important is I use a green water culture to get started. That also means that every time I, I remake my jugs, I save a little bit of the green water from the previous one. Um, about a tablespoon of the fertilizer. And then the oyster grit, I only need to use about once every two months. It stays in that jug, so every time I refill it, that same oyster grit's still in there, so you don't have to add that every time. Lastly, I use a carbon block on the hose uh, just to take some out some of that chlorine. I don't know how well it works, but the Daphnia does not seem to die and the algae grows, so all is great. After I fill it up, it takes about three days before it's a dense green and it's ready to feed to the Daphnia. So make sure you don't fill the jug all the way to the top. That way there's more surface area at the top of the water and the So here's the exciting part. Breathe. After the three days, the water's nice and green, you can go ahead and feed. I dump about half of the jug in one and half in the other. Um, this will fill them up eventually, so once a month I need to take some water out of the cultures, but they will be nice, happy, and your population will explode over the week. I feed them about once a week. Two other hints for you. I do put oyster grit in each of the cultures. So there's a, a good size handful in each one, which I leave there. And then also, if you get algae growing, the, the long filament ones, you need to restart your culture. So about once a year is good. All right, last thing I'm gonna mention is I'm actually use this window screening netting. I, pour, I uh, staple two boards to the sides and actually use this to keep the mosquitoes out of my cultures. I put it right over, dangles on that side, dangles on this side, and uh, that, that does the job. If you do have issues with mosquitoes, you can use mosquito bits. You can toss them in there. It actually doesn't kill the daphnia and it doesn't kill your fish. 